What are we trying to do? We are trying to ape the past without understanding it. This is why sometimes when I see some young architect trying to copy the past, oh sir, Parthenon is beautiful, I'm building the modern Parthenon. I said, first, that is the past. That man at that time, with that content, with that technology could build it. The grammar is excellent. Why don't you relate to today with that grammar and build with your material? That is where Mies van der comes in. He translated the grammar to today, or transferred the grammar to today. He didn't bring the material also into it. He didn't copy it. And then, after I finished usually this lecture over something, I just smile and say, so why are you smiling? Even the Parthenon is a fraud. So what do you mean? I said, the original Parthenon was of timber. That is why you have the Doric columns and things. That got burnt. Somebody wanted to permanently keep it. So they said this is a symbol of the Parthenon. It is only a symbolic Parthenon. It is not the real Parthenon. It is not architect. It is no longer architecture. See, when you go to students, the only problem people like us come, we can make out when it's cut and paste. But the student bluntly asks, sir, these are the great architects, their architecture. Why should I bother to learn? I'm cutting and pasting. How do I said, copy. I don't mind, but don't imitate. It's a little different. Copy, cut and paste is wrong. But if you copy, I mean, copying is a different word. You understand. Then you reset it your, the way you understand. Imitating exactly what is there and putting there, that is totally erroneous and evil. I will call it evil at that point. It's very bad. But uh, very top architects in India do it. More than that, it has become a glamour architecture. Because you remind me of the film stars of the 80s, 90s, the film stars of the present. 80s, 90s film stars of Karnataka still had a sense of aesthetics and culture. The present ones have no idea what they have or what they do. 